Hello everyone, today we will be talking about uh, science based target and I am Aishwarya, I am a PhD scholar at uh, Department of Management Studies, IIT Madras. So the contents of this lecture will be what is science based targets initiative and what are science based targets and uh, who is eligible to join this initiative and uh, how can companies set their targets that are science based and how this will help the buyers um, by assessing their suppliers and how does a business benefit by setting these targets. So what is SBTI? So this SBTI or Science Based Target Initiative is a partnership between four organizations. So this four, four organizations are Carbon Disclosure Project, United Nations Global Compact, World Resource, Resources Initiative, Worldwide Fund for Nature. So these four organizations are basically non-profit non organizations and these are, these organizations are like uh, that help the other initiatives to go green or like uh, support the environmental initiatives taken by other uh, governmental organizations or private sectors. So what are science based targets? So science based targets provide a road map for business to cut their uh, greenhouse emissions. Therefore, uh, cutting down the greenhouse emissions will uh, help them mitigate the effects of climate change and this will ensure a future corporate growth that will be more sustainable. So targets are considered science based when they align with the climate change goals. So uh, we know that uh, Paris Agreement uh, has said that we have to uh, reduce our global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. So that was the level set before the pre-industrial pre era. So we have to achieve that by cutting down our greenhouse emissions. So more than 4000 firms have been uh, involved in this uh, science based target program um, from 2015. So in a survey conducted. Uh, like almost 79 percent of the business leaders have agreed that these SBTs help their companies to be on track and uh, these uh, specific goals also give them a specific timeline and goals to mitigate climate change. So this finding will uh, like ultimately it shows that SBTs are uh, helping the business by uh, helping them accelerate decarbonization efforts. So who is eligible to join SBTI? Almost all companies um, can join SBTI. So SBTI is actually encouraging all the private sector companies of like various sizes from a startup to a bigger, bigger MNC is uh, like encouraged to join this SBTI. So SBTI recognized recognizes distinctions across business areas like from aviation industry to food industries everyone is encouraged to join this SBTI but this SBTI does not evaluate targets for cities or local government or like a public sector institutions or educational institution. So how can companies set targets that are science based? So when we are talking about private sector um, planning to cut down the GHT em emissions. So they will need a action plan. So this action plan will be given by SBTI. So this, this is like a five step process. First is to commit. We have to submit a letter uh, saying that uh, this is my intent I am planning to cut my emission to science based targets and they will agree to it and it is the first step of getting committed. So next is to working on an uh, emission reduction target. So say from a base year of 2019, I will uh, cut down my emission to 59% by 2030. So action uh, plan like this will come under this step of develop. And the third step is to submit. We have to present our target to the SBTI and get it validated 
and then we have to communicate it to our stakeholders. So when a company is planning to cut down its emission, when it is going to uh, remove all its emission in a particular sector or in a particular value, a particular space of its value chain, it has to communicate it to their stakeholders. So this will come under the fourth step, communicate. And the final step is to report it. So the company has to track its target and it has to say how it is going, if it is going in in a proper way or if there is any uh, hindrance that is like uh, stopping the company from achieving their target within a stipulated time, they have to track it and then report the progress annually. So this is the five step of setting a science, a science based target. So this is the uh, like detailed framework. So as we discussed first step is the commit. The company has to publicly commit to SBTI and agree to align its climate goal with the latest specific um, understanding of the climate change goal. So second is to scope. So technically when we are going to categorize our greenhouse gas emissions, we will categorize it into three scopes. Scope 1 will be direct emission, scope 2 will be indirect emission from energy use and scope 3 will be indirect value chain emission. So scope 1 and scope 2 are like closely connected while scope 3 is only about indirect value chain emission. So setting SBTs, so we will uh, determine our ambitious goal and we will align it with the global warming of uh, like way like below 2 degrees Celsius and now it is preferably 1.5 degrees Celsius. So then is uh, scoping up 1 and uh, scoping one and two targets. So we will uh, set a measurable and time bound targets so that uh, we do not like miss our target within the given uh, time. And uh, setting scope 3 target, so we, while setting scope 3 targets we will identify and engage with our key stakeholders so that uh, our uh, goal will be like intensity based and it is like very absolute based on the nature of emission we have and we have to validate our target. So companies will be submitting their targets for uh, validation to SBTI. So SBTI will be evaluating the target and it will align it with the, their methodologies so that it, it is easy for us to track and achieve it accordingly. So then it is to monitor. So when we monitor it like regularly we will have an idea where we stand and how much it is. So monitoring it in a, a given uh, interval of time is easier to go in the go in line with our aim. So build trust. So when we are uh, communicating the progress to the stakeholders and when we are tracking it, so it will uh, create a trust among the stakeholders and the company and the company's reputation will go up and we have to renew our commitment year by year so that uh, the target is in line. Next is how SBTI helps buyer in assessing suppliers. So we have like a five point like how SBTI helps buyer in assessing their supplier. So one is long term partnership. So SBTI is a tool for uh, maintaining this uh, long term partnership because uh, when the supplier is committed to sustainability um, they will uh, obviously have a SBTI goal. So this will uh, show that the supplier is very committed and uh, the partnership can, uh, can be of long term with the buyer. This uh, SBTI provides a standardized criteria for assessing suppliers emission with the reduction target. So when this uh, standardized criteria is there, buyers can uh, have their uh, consistent benchmark to evaluate their uh, sustainability efforts. So when uh, suppliers are able to uh, evaluate the buyers, so it is easy for them. Risk management. So buyers can manage risk associated with the climate change. So suppliers that are actively working to reduce their emission, so they are like more uh, resilient and they are like prepared for uh, the future 
so if there is a future regulatory change or if there is a any uh, disruption going to come they'll be prepared for this so this sbti also helps in um, checking the risk up to date transparency so this sbti encourages transparency by uh, requiring a proje- progress report that is to be publicly submitted so this transparency allows the buyer to make good decisions based on their uh, supplier's performance so if the supplier is going to be very good in their sustainable performance the buyer can have a a great sense of trust on them because uh, whatever is uh, going to be a hindrance in the future they can know it in prayer hand and they are going to be very transparent and this also gives a sense of uh, credibility and uh, they uh, their sustainability goal is almost accounted everywhere so this will uh, create a trust among the buyer to choose their uh, suppliers easily so supplier who is going to be very sustainable and who is very informed of their targets and who is going to be very credible will be like in a, a prioritized in the market and the buyer will be keeping on choosing them so this way sbti helps the buyer in assessing their supplier so how does a business benefit by setting sbts so a brand sustainability reputation is like very important among the consumers because now the consumers are being very conscious and they know that uh, a brand which is going to be very careful about what they do and what uh, their emission is and the tracking of emissions um and their decisions has a impact so this will obviously give a good brand reputation for a business and investor will also be very confident because the investors will be like very interested in a business which is going to be very informed about the uh, environmental policy policies and uh, they can uh, shore up their investments and so when a business is going to be very um very careful about aligning their climate uh, goals and uh, when they are going to set their targets by achieving the emissions and when they are going to be very committed so they have a very regulated policy so these type of uh, companies will be very successful because when they are going to be very successful with uh, a good brand reputation with a good investor confidence so they will also be very resilient towards success so also when the companies are like going to change their service with that is like going to be very sustainable and when they are going to anticipate uh, their goods and services to be of low carbon and when they are going to track their value chains and uh, reduce their emissions so they'll be always driven towards innovation so these innovations will be of one which is fueled by the science based science based targets and feedback and support so companies going through target validation process will be benefited by the feedback and support from sbti experts so these sbti experts will be giving feedback and support back to back when they give their progress report when they are going to monitor and let them know where they stand so talking about sbti uh, like few companies are like are the classic examples so though there are like 4000 companies who have uh, set their sbts and they are working towards it we have selected few companies one is h&m so h&m is a global fashion and design company it has taken steps to decarbonize its uh, supply chain and support its supplier to reduce emissions so their strategy is to reach net zero by 2040 salesforce is a global company uh, that is creating crm uh, softwares and they are also planning to accelerate decarbonization in the supply chain and scroders scroders is a L- london based global asset management company and they are pledging to reduce their absolute scope 1 and 2 uh, greenhouse gas emissions by 46% by 2030 from a tw- 2019 as base year and uh, they are uh, 
trying to increase their annual sourcing of renewable energy electricity from 50% in 2019 and 100% uh, by 2025. And AstraZeneca, uh, it is a multinational corporation um, that is specializing in uh, pharmaceutical and biotechnology products. And the company has already reduced their scope 1 and scope 2 by 59% in 2021. And this company has also set a target to reduce their absolute scope 3 emission by 50% in 2030 from a 2019 baseline. And they are also on the way to a 90% reduction by 2045 and they are targeting science-based net, net zero. Mm -hmm.